Well, hey, the seasons are changing in East Texas, and that means snakes are being seen more often in our yards and even our homes. Oof. Fox 51's Arena Revels spent the day at the Caldwell Zoo to find out more about these reptiles, and she's here to explain why not all of them are bad. Raina. Sarah, snakes cannot tolerate extreme cold weather. With East Texas temperatures starting to drop in the evenings and staying cooler in the mornings, we are seeing snakes a bit more often than normal. They're slithery, scaly, and sneaky. William Garvin at the Caldwell Zoo says there are over 30 species of snakes in East Texas. Very few of them are venomous, but there are three main ones to look out for. We have a southern copperhead, which is our most common venomous snake, and we have a western cottonmouth or a water moccasin, as a lot of people like to call them. And those are our two most common venomous snakes, and those are the ones people usually come across most often. The western cottonmouth loves the humidity. This snake can be found in ditches, rivers, and lakes but not always in water. It's got a significant bite uh, as well, and so it's a snake that people should probably shy away from if they, they come in, in contact with it. Some snakes are beneficial, but can cause quite the scare. Yeah, now the rat snake's a little bit different. It's a constrictor and it's a harmless snake. Uh, they grow fairly large, much larger than our venomous snakes grow. Uh, and they're, you know, they can be beneficial because they will consume a lot of rats. Uh, unfortunately, they come in conflict with humans because they find chicken coop. Any type of snake can come into your home looking for food or a warmer place to stay. It is advised to be cautious around junk or wood piles you may have outdoors. If you see a snake, the best thing to do is to not approach it or you might get hurt. Even after someone's discharged from the hospital, we recommend that they be rechecked two or three days and five to seven days after the last dose of antivenin to see whether the signs of blood toxicity are recurring because occasionally those can be severe enough to, to be fatal. East Texas pest control companies are completely booked at this time as these snakes try to find shelter for the winter. Experts say to rake any leaves and have a well manicured lawn to ensure a yard free of snakes. Reporting in studio, Raina Revel, Fox 51 News.